Hey folks, Jim Denham here. Uh, went back down here to the Buffalo River. Um, quite a bit different than the last time I came down here. The last time I was treated with just an amazing sunrise with fog and really high water. And uh, this one, maybe exactly the opposite. Um, I'm gonna swing the camera around so you can see. So let's take a look. This was underwater the last time I was here. The water's gone. I mean, it's really low. You can see bottom out in the middle there where you can see the current moving. It's nice and green and pretty, but man, all of this was underwater before. I couldn't even walk down here. And it's gray. We have, I haven't, I've hardly seen a cloud because it's been so overcast. I was excited this morning. It said partly cloudy. Um, but there hadn't been no partly to it. It's been all cloudy and very overcast. So I've struggled to find uh, what it is that uh, I needed to shoot. So obviously the sky is not going to be what I'm looking at. But here's one of the things I like about the Buffalo River. It's hard to see from here. We'll see it in the camera here in just a minute. As you go, let's see, this is toward the west. You start seeing some of these bluffs in here, which are really beautiful. Um, the banks pretty much stop right here so there's no walking down to the water once you get past this point but you've got all these bluffs over here well I love that and I love how green the water is but how do you get a shot um, so what I did was is I started looking and you take the sky out of the way but we've got this really nice little jut out here from the edge on the banks with the background of the rocks, the bluffs, and some trees and reflection. And with my full frame, uh, I didn't have anything long enough to really seclude that really good. So what I did was, is I grabbed the A6300, I put my 90 millimeter lens on it, which equivalent uh, is about 135 millimeter. I've got a circular pol polarizer here to take some of the reflection out of the water. And I'm using a three-stop filter to slow down the water and make it really nice and shiny. Now, if you look at the back of the camera, it's all a manual focus. So you can see what all's in focus with the focus peaking there. Okay, and you can see my settings. I'm at uh, F16, 10 seconds. That's because of both the two stops of the circular polarizer and uh, the three stops of the ND filter. I'm at ISO 100 and F16. So all this is going to be uh, in focus and it allows me to zoom in and get really close on this but also bring all of this in so let's hit the shutter button it's gonna go for 10 seconds let's see what happens I just really think this is gonna be beautiful even though we're limited on what we really can do today I mean it's it's such a gray day no light okay it just got through let's see what happens And that's what we got. Beautiful. This sticking out. We've got the, uh, sorry, that keeps doing that when I get my hand close to it. All the rocks and everything on the other side, the waters provide a beautiful reflection. You know, you just got to seek out for some of those pretty, some of the things that look good, you know, when uh, the day doesn't look like it's going to be that good. So anyhow, I'm pretty happy with that. And, uh, I think that's going to be pretty cool when I get done with it. So, anyhow, that's my story today. Um, it's uh, it's been rough. My feet are wet. Uh, I've actually been able to walk out into the water where before I I wouldn't even have tried to do it. Would have carried me away. So, quite a bit different conditions, but uh, we found a couple of things here. I think that'll be worth worth sharing with you. So, anyhow, just wanted to share that with you. Hope you're doing well. See ya.